this is a Spanish chart of what's supposedly the Tyler Solar System, guys, and it's uh, where the planet Herculobus exists. I've overlaid the picture that we've been looking at, the sun on the right, and this object coming in from behind Earth. And that's what it's showing there, Earth there, and this, and the red lines are gravitational forces that affect change. Carlos Ferrado, born in night, I mean, born in Chile in 1909, in 1939, discovered this. He started talking about it. He discovered uh, different comets, planets, projected changes in Halley's comets. He projected giant earthquakes and tsunamis that came true two or three days ahead of time. He was a master of the physics of the universe. He said it will come 14 million kilometers from Earth, 8.6 million miles. Now, it will be traveling at 2,237 miles an hour. Eventually, everyone will see it, and it will be terrifying. It will cause volcanic-induced quakes in Spain, Chile, and Sumatra. He said it will bring on earth changes, and people and the geology of the earth will bring on famine. He used the word sustenance problems, guys. But um, then let's move forward to 83, Washington Post. Other newspapers had it, too. It says a heavenly body possibly as large as the giant planet Jupiter and possibly so close to Earth that it would be part of this solar system, has been found in the direction of the constellation Orion by an orbiting telescope aboard the U.S. infrared astronomical satellite. So mysterious is the object that astronomers do not know if it's a planet, a comet, or a protostar that never got hot enough to become a star. And I want you to notice the names in here, Gary Newbauer and James Hawk. Now, um, it says the most fascinating explanation of this mysterious body, which is so cold it casts no light and has never been seen by optical telescopes on Earth or in space, is that it is a giant gaseous planet. Now, again, notice who these two guys are. They're not just some backyard astronomers. Newberger, honored American astronomer. It, he uh, pioneered infrared astronomy. Director of Palomar, guys, JPL, J.R. Hawk. Designed instrumentation for the Spitzer Space Telescope, won the NASA Exceptional Scientific Achievement Medal in 84 and 2005. Tech guy behind the IRAS and the Palomar Observatory. Now he teaches at, at Cornell in New York. They identified nine objects in the solar system. These are the plate numbers. These are the two guys. Here, I want you to pause this and look at your tilts of the different planets. Notice Saturn 2673, Earth 23.4. And they, they're watching this tilt, guys, because the further a planet tilts, the longer the seasons become, the more dramatic, the more problems you have. Earth is currently at 23.4. That's the tilt off zero. It varies from 22.1, you see that, to 24.5. Now, it says because the tilt changes the seasons as we know them, more tilt means more severe seasons, warmer summers, colder winters. Less tilt means less. Cooler summers, milder winters. It's a cooler summers that build up the uh, ice caps, things like that, guys. But this is, uh, this is the variation normal from 22.1, 24.5. Now there, there's a, a phenomenon called a geomagnetic jerk. And it's when instead of this slowly changing, something happens that that there's a quick jerk in this in that change and it talks about it right here you can um, pause this now in 2011 when something happened they noticed a flare coming from that Tyler solar system in that Spanish chart that's when the Japan quake hit after that look guys in the Tampa airport and airports in England had to repaint their north and south degree indicators on their airport runways. That is called a geomagnetic jerk. Now they kill the funding for those two guys. Now they got seven satellites starting back right after that in 73 where they started building them all the way up. Now they're headed that way. Now guys, here's a breakdown of the math. Now, whatever it is, here's the math. Notice this is a left orange would be our Herculobus or whatever the object is, the sun's on the right. One AU is the distance between that blue ball, Earth, and the yellow ball, the sun. They're saying that the gravitational pull 
in the math from this Herculobus object is about 8 to 9 AU. That means it could be twice as far from the sun as Saturn and affect Saturn. You understand what I'm saying? Saturn varies from 9 to 11 AU because it's an elongated orbit. Orbit. Earth is 1 AU from the sun. So at, if at 16 AU from the sun, the math would say this would, could have effect on our outer solar system. You understand what I'm saying? But guys, um, these are the numbers and some of the information. We're going to keep an eye on it, uh, but I'm sure a lot of you know more about it than I do. But guys, isn't it strange how they blocked these two scientists? Started sending satellites out there, checking on this. Quakes, seasons getting longer. And guys, they say that's a th that cycle of that tilt is around 3,600 years. 30, excuse me, 36,000 years. Now, uh, Mr. Ferrado says that every 13,000 years, this planet comes close enough to disrupt the planets in our solar system. That's the last ice age when the woolly mammoths were found frozen to death with flowers in their mouth in North America around the time of the Great Flood. Just a heads up, guys, just a research I'm sharing. Be safe.